Before all the plague and forest fire stuff distracted me, I had an idea to use a small Plan 9 systems throughout my house to do various things. File servers, sensors, control things like lights, and so on. By the time I settled in and was ready uh, to make this reality, the global chip shortage happened. I was able to get used office Dells to develop on, but the cheap, energy efficient ARM single board computers had stopped being so cheap, or even available at all. I still haven't found a Raspberry Pi Zero. So in my search for available simple CPUs, I came across the Onion Omega 2, a small MIPS based system on a chip, available, reasonably priced, and had everything I needed for sensor network and other tasks. And now I'll go into my process for getting 9Front to boot on this device. I need to know what sort of a CPU this thing is, so that turned out to be a MediaTek 7688, and that is based on the MIPS 24KEC. MIPS is like ARM in that they don't make chips, they just make blueprints for them and license those. As for the MIPS part of the chip, it uses a MIPS 32 Revision 2 instruction set. The C means it has no floating point unit. The E means it comes with a digital signal processor, uh, mostly to handle audio and video. Uh, MediaTek tacks on their own stuff to make this a system on a chip. So it has a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi chip, uh, ethernet, five port switch, USB, SPI, I2C, some GPIO for blinking lights. Um, it's a single core chip running at 580 megahertz, and by today's standards, that seems pretty slow. But for now, I'm just looking for something to hook I2C sensors to, and maybe a few other things, and the low speed and RAM are plenty for what I need. Uh, chances are, if you bought a Wi-Fi router in the past 20 years, it likely had a MIPS chip like this one. So what do I need to do to use 9Front to grave rob my way out of the chip shortage? Well, lucky for me, someone did try to port Legacy Plan 9 to a MIPS-based router many years ago, so I grabbed that code. Unfortunately, it was for an Atheros-based chip, not the MediaTek one I had, so it was not compatible in several ways. Uh, deep down, all computer stuff is flipping switches and reading switches, so I went looking for data sheets on the MT7688. And a big thanks to the people at NetBSD, who also had a nice breakdown on all the various registers and their settings. After that, it was comparing the old router board Plan 9 kernel to the new kernels in 9Front, and the register info from the datasheets and NetBSD. Uh, the basic assembly, trap, and MMU code looked like it would work. I had to tweak the serial console output to work with the MediaTek chip. I had to redo the interrupt handling code and some of the clock code. And with that bare minimum, I was able to boot, get through the kernel's main function and into init zero, but then it dies before jumping to user space. And unfortunately, the error message is just a colon. So I have some digging to do. I also have several other drivers to write to make this thing uh, usable in general. Uh, lack of drivers is a common complaint of Plan 9 and 9Front. Uh, it was a common complaint of Linux and the BSDs back in the day too. So I'll take a break from the MIPS kernel this next week and make some videos on how to write drivers. And in the meantime, have fun.